sunlight. How do y'all feel? To vlog or not to vlog in the grocery store. Do you want to be on camera, Dad? Why not? What's wrong with that? Man. Well, let me vlog myself. I'm coming in to the grocery store so that I can return this janky dog food because my dog doesn't need it. It is janky. This is vlogging. I, uh, I don't like going in the exit door. I got to go to the enter door because the exit is for exiting and the entering is for entering. Okay, I'll see you guys whenever I come back out from grocery shopping. Okay, I'm about to try this ice cream. It better be life. It better give me all of the life. Aside from that, let me show you guys what I'm doing. It's like every time I vlog, I'm showing you guys my computer. But currently... Uh-oh, what is it saying? Do you want to remove... No. Okay, great. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, you know whenever, like, really important messages show up on your screen and you're afraid that your s computer's gonna, like, spontaneously combust? So you have to physically sit there and think about what exactly is going on? Yeah, because that was that moment. Um, now I'm about to make, like, a channel trailer for my vlog channel. For this channel. And, yeah, we're about to see what's up. All these error messages. We're about to see what that's about. See you guys later. See here, this is some footage from yesterday's vlog channel trailer shoot with my little brother. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye! Okay, guys, we were just outside. Um, we were just trying to film something for you guys, so I hope you guys are grateful. It's outside, like, booming with thunder and stuff. We were making so many diff different scenes just for her vlogging channel. Ew, that's just, like, are you seriously putting your foot in the sink? Ew, okay, um... <laughs> That's just disgusting. It is. I can't. I can't lie. It's disgusting. And that. That's where I brush my teeth. Ew. Now I'm starting to be happy that I just start um cleaning out my mouth with scope. Okay. That was disgusting. What's disgusting about it? You put your dirty little face in the sink anyway. No, I don't. Same thing as my feet. As far as I'm concerned. I keep my head above this, above the low, whatever. Okay. Okay, so, you guys. No, no. I'm hijacking. So. Oh, no. 
I'm about to go. Oh, and it's dark. And I'm brown, so let's just come into the light. Um, I'm about to edit and put together my channel trailer. And my lips are ashy. That's fun. Um, my channel trailer for the vlog channel. Oh, cool. It's cute. What's this on my chin? Okay. Um, <laughs> my vlog channel, you guys, is literally crackling with thunder and lightning outside. And we were all out in the meadow. It's crazy human. We both have, like, legit allergies. So, uh, <laughs> let's just say we had a fun time doing it. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye! I'm trying to work, and someone will not let me. Like, every time I put him down, he, like... Uh, uh, uh. You're spoiled rotten. Literally. Maybe he'll lay down for you guys. Let's see. You're gonna lay down for them? Like a baby? Like, will you look? Like a baby. We'll just lay here like a baby. Mm -mm. Spoiled. This is work. This is a baby. This is work. This is a baby. Not a human one. A fur one. And I literally am not able to get any work done because look at him. Just look at him. He will not allow me to. This is what I do for 90 point... 3% of my day. Well, a large percentage is cleaning up pee and poop. That's a huge problem. Like, look at him. He's such a baby. Like, look, I could just rock him to sleep and lay him in his bed. I just don't. I just don't get it. He won't lay in his bed, so as he wakes up and he knows that you're trying to put him in his bed, he'll start crying again. Stop. We're working on not biting or gnawing. Do you want to get up now? My brother, who never wears a shirt, first of all, no wait, no wait, look. If you can see this green paper, he's eating a note card. Please don't pee on the vlog. Um, anyway, my brother, who never wears a shirt, is going to come back in here and he's going to tell you his story about what he thought a drumstick was. First of all, what do you guys think a drumstick is? If I say... I'm going to go to the freezer, and I'm going to get a drumstick. What do you think that is? So now my brother is going to tell you what he thought it was. Go ahead. When she said a drumstick, I thought she was talking about a chicken leg. Like, he literally <laughs> raced me to the freezer, pushed me out. Can you please get that out of his mouth, whatever that is? Pushed me out of the way, and only to think that I was talking about a chicken leg drumstick. And I was talking about an ice cream cone drumstick. She just calls it a drumstick. She doesn't say anything about ice cream. Because that's what I think a drumstick is. is ice cream. Like, like that particular thing was an ice cream cone. You explain that. You're out of line. I just can't even deal. Okay, so we are sitting here vlogging while my mom is watching the vlog I just posted, which you should already have seen, obviously. And, and I'm feeling some type of way, because I said don't repeatedly in here. I say, you better not put this in here. And I told you at the end that I would. I told you I would edit out certain things. And I did edit out certain things. I did. Tag or mention people on. But that's what I'm doing, y'all. Why do you talk to my guy? But that's what I'm doing. What would that mean? Like hashtag. Oh, you, you working on your work? Is that what else would be funny? Hashtag what is life? Even though it's not gonna go. No. I mean. Which means it doesn't. We probably should have a conversation about YouTube vlogger boundaries. Like what gets talked about or what gets viewed in vlogs. Who should have that? 
You can talk about it. You're the one being like exploited in a way, opposed to me. So I'm choosing this. You're kind of not. <laughs> Sorry, if you want to talk about it again. Right now? Sure. Don't film me. Why? Because, because you're part of my family. It's my, um. Who those white girls are. Why the heck that is Like, who does this? I do too. I don't see Chinese Whitney's. So, some Chinese Whitney's. What are those things? Chinese Whitney's. Oh, yeah. For sure. It might have been Chinese Whitney's. I don't know. I don't know Chinese Whitney's. I'm sorry. And y'all vlog in your pajamas and just be all laid in the bed. I mean, I'm just saying. There's just like a whole lot that she got me watching. I've got to watch. The video about people getting up. I've got to watch morning watch routines. Wake up with me. Yeah, Go to bed with me. Good night yeah. routines or, or un, get like, unready with me. There is like a studio audience out there yeah. waiting to see how the process of your beauty regimen. Like, for instance, it's no different than people watching. the process of my beauty regimen. I really don't care to know that you brush your teeth in the shower. I probably everybody sometime in their life has done that, but the fact that you want to tell people that you also wash your panties in the shower, that's like a bit much. Ma'am. <laughs> Let me tell you what you're not going to That's your you whole... You've got that That's your... That's on the get ready with or go to bed or whatever they think it's just. Well, I feel like it's kind of no different than you watching someone's hair routine when it's maintenance. It's the same thing. It would get unready with me typically is their, their skin routine. Like what I about no, I mean like general. washing, like what I use, wash my hair, or the products I, I use, and they are doing boring. a demo. I don't. Well, if it pertains to you, then yes. If it's natural hair or the hair you want to wear, then it pertains to you. I just really. I'm, I'm just finding it difficult. I mean, the majority of the videos don't pertain to me because I'm virtually moneyless. So all of the, all the products that, all I mean, the products. I really don't know how that, I don't know. Um, y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. It's probably going to be some comments about the struggle of the younger person or something. <laughs> and then she's probably going to go into another video and it's like, don't listen to my mom because she's been working before there was ever life on the planet. Well, you're going to mention that. I can mention that now. She's been working what? since she's you, been in the world. I, she, she's been a little woman since she was like six months old. <laughs> So it's a little <laughs> the job ethic and the job like parameters have been a ton different than mine. I didn't even first job till I was like eight, like legit, not through my family jobs till I was eighteen. Well, yeah, eighteen. So I mean, so she's with she's been working parties as a clown since like she was eleven. She's been driving. She's even eleven and a half. So, like, it's totally different. And she's still working. She's currently working on a computer. So it's different. I really feel that there is some shade. No, oh, ma'am. No, ma'am. And so I'm going to address that as if I have a palm tree hanging over my head. Oh, no. And I'm going to say I'm first of seven. So, yes, I babysat children. I was probably nine. When I babysit my first, besides my siblings, I started babysitting the the church members' kids, and they paid me and like ramen noodle or like my favorite food. Mm -mm. And paid me catering <laughs> gum at <laughs> the commercial catering <laughs> gum because <laughs> you like it. And then my mom was working at a pharmacy, and they needed a clown at the local Burger King, so I got that job. When I was like 11. And I didn't like kids. But I got paid $25 a party. And then one day, when I was about 13 and a half, prepping for a football team, I was in my clown suit, and the manager threw a conniption because I took the burgers and fries for my birthday party and not for the people on the bus and all the other, other customers and so she taught me how to do burgers at that time so when I was 14 I officially became an employee and I worked for four hours a day I was going into my ninth grade my freshman year 
of high school. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was now in ninth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we like doing the school stuff. <laughs> I went on going somewhere else and getting money. I didn't want to do any of yeah. that. So I would walk to work from where we lived after school. No, ma'am. And it's then Nana would come pick me up. And if I wasn't ready, she'd come through drive through and say my name over the speaker. You know how Hi, welcome to Burger King. May I take your order? Nikita, this is your mom. You said you got off work at 8 o'clock. <laughs> This is your mom. <laughs> Don't make me come in. And at that time, it was a Jerry Curl. Ma'am. <laughs> yeah, a Jerry Curl. No, I'm very yeah, aware, I'm but Jack of it. Oh my gosh, I saw this woman one time and she had a Jerry Curl mullet. <laughs> it was a very interesting. A shag. Is that what that's called? Yeah, when it's low and long. It looked like a Jerry Curl top and a mullet back. Yeah, it's a shag. It was like three stringy little pieces of. Yeah, there was something that was going on back in the day with perms where you could, like, put a curl in your hair. Oh, but this is 2014. And rot it or just do part of it. Like, don't raw the rest so it's like a straight perm in the back and raw it all here in the front. This is and then 2014, you just, though. That's, that's not bad. That's out of line. Quit <laughs> playing. Google it. I no, 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 no. That is out of line. Everybody this video that still she wears a Jerry This That better not be anybody. <laughs> She was old. Let's <laughs> see your subscribers. Go there and some. How many Jericho's girls? All the all the supplies I see out there. You're right. Of the whole whopping there. 20 subscribers, a good 19 and a half do have Jericho's, and they are null and void. She doesn't mean that, y'all. Of course I don't, because nobody has a subscribers has a Jericho. Well, please watch anybody that has a Jericho. Let us know how you feel I mean, about it. Watch, them. yeah, because I want to know your when I go thoughts on why you have one. To my local, that's another thing YouTubers say. You can get that from your local beauty supply store. So when I go to my local <laughs> beauty supply store. Sometimes people's local beauty supply stores are like Ralph's and like Who? Allie's and like like people who don't live oh, in like Texas. Jenny K. Yeah, like their, their local so beauty supplies are places that I have never, like local to me sounds like Albertsons. Sally's. Or like Sally. Yeah, something that's like discoverable. Not like Ralphie Ann's down the street. Like Lulu's beauty supply. Who is that? And you walk in there, you all... Okay, so the last clip you guys saw was my mom talking about some Chinese people. And then it cut off because my memory card was full. So to solve that problem, I just went and deleted all my childhood memories so I can make room for more vlogs. And so my brother... Zoos. My brother is here. Um, we're playing the game... But if I could, I want to show you guys his haircut. And guys, if you see anything messed up about my hair, just let me remind you, she's the one who cut my hair. So if you see any welts from her missing or whatever. Oh my gosh, let me explain. So I used an edger, and basically when you use an edger, it's not missing. Oh, can't see my hair quotes. It's not missing first of all it's me edging up the sides of his hair giving him a lineup and me having to cut like not cut but like basically get rid of all the hair and it's a very sensitive edger so it gives you like little cuts or whelps or whatever obviously I was not doing any of that on purpose sure whatever anyway um but no like it's pretty cool it was my first time ever cutting men's hair and I think I did a pretty decent job. Like I did him kind of like a, um, like a zigzag part thing, and it goes all the way down the back. And I'll enter a picture so you guys can see it better. But then I lined up the front, and he has like a widow's peak, so it's kind of hard to line it up. I hate it. It's kind of hard to line I it up. Like, like it. it comes out kind of different but in order to not make it look like he's old man Jenkins who has no hairline it I have to like <laughs> I have to kind of like really be sensitive with it and I'd rather it be not necessarily the absolute most perfect edge up so that he doesn't have like an eight head and it looks all crazy um but yeah no I posted my channel trailer already so you guys will have seen that yesterday um but no yeah it's gonna be a good time i i'm hoping to post one more vlogs on the channel 
and why is it on you it should be on me um i'm hoping to post more and more vlogs on the channel so that you guys can see what we do all day um basically today was just me i'll insert bloopers also tomorrow you'll see a lot of bloopers of me and zayas recording uh my, <laughs> recording my vlog channel trailer you'll see a lot of bloopers of that um and tomorrow's footage also or today's footage rather because you'll see this on wednesday um but today's tuesday so basically yes you'll see a lot of fun stuff why does my head look You'll see a lot of fun head. stuff um, on this vlog channel. Why is this and the driver? We will talk to you guys tomorrow because we are tired and I look like a zombie, and that is okay because zombies are the new thing. So we're we talking about zombies. Zombie? Thanks for that. Um, what would you like <laughs> to say to the to the viewers before we leave this vlog? My face hurts. Oh, man. Okay, goodbye. We will talk to you guys tomorrow, and bye! Next time on The Daily Inn. First of all, I'm sure you see these little girls. Dangerous. And like some bridge to Terabithia set up. <laughs>